Hello, everyone. Thank you for giving me the opportunity to be here with you all. So let me start by introducing myself. My name is Nail Hadri. Uh, I'm from Saudi Arabia. I'm based in the Middle East. Uh, actually, I'm working as a digital analyst within a Chambergeer company. And I'm power addict. I'm doing a lot of things on my social media. So um, also, you can follow me. On, if, you, if you like to check all my posts, you can check my Twitter account, LinkedIn. Even I'm posting a lot of things on YouTube. Also, I have a sharing is caring a group within NATO. So I can drop now the link on the chat. You, you feel free to follow me. I, you can check now the, the link on the chat. OK, so also you can call me Agent 008. So if you want to know the story, go and check my Twitter. There is a story behind this name, Agent 008. So why I'm here today, actually, because we will learn new things. And um, for me, I really like to play, uh, to, to build uh, things easy and fun at the same time. So what we will learn today, I will show you what's digital escape room and also how we create any digital escape room. Can we use the Power Apps to build any digital escape room? Also, I will do with you a live demo. So, uh, for sure, uh, most of the people, they, they went to the escape room, the actual escape room. And you know the story behind it, actually? They put you in a specific room and there is a specific scenario, like how you will be able to lock the door. So there is a specific scenario, there is a specific room that you need to lock it. Similar way, we will do the same thing, but digital way. It means that we will have an application, we will have a specific story. Based on our story, we will be able to open the door. OK, the question is here, how we can build any digital escape room? How we can build any fun digital escape room? What kind of tips that we need to follow? So I will share with you the tips that I follow to build my digital escape room. And it's really easy to use. First, you need to write your story. So what do we mean by writing your story? It means what kind of room do you want to have in your application? For example, here while we are doing the live demo, you will see what's my story behind this uh, room. So most of the people, they like to have uh, different rooms within the digital escape room, actually. So for example, you can have um, Power BI. And in our scenario, let's assume that we want to build a digital escape room for Power Platform. So you can build only one door, like for Power Apps for, or uh, several doors, like several scenarios. So you need to write your story first. Second things, actually, you need to write your rules. It means what kind of things or questions you need to add it to your application or your digital escape room to, to the end user. So based on this question or clues, they will be able to open the door. Number four, create your images. You need to, to, to like um, build your room, either by using a free uh, background that we have it on website, or if you are a creative enough, so you can build your own room by using any animation tool. So for me here, actually, I built uh, my uh, animations by using another tool. So maybe you, you can look at it, or I, I can arrange a specific session about it, how we can build animation things. Also, how we can create the logs and build your application. So to build the application, it's something really easy. As I mentioned, for me, I really like to build something really in easiest way, plus to make it with the fun way. So now it's the time to build the app together and show you how I build it, actually. So let me share now my application. OK. So here, as we see, let me, I will first run the digital escape room, then I will show you the step that I followed to build it. So let's just try now to do something fun. Actually, uh, for any application that I'm building, I prefer to put like a video as a loading, like similar to the PlayStation or something. So for me, any application that I'm building, I'm adding a short video there. I will, uh, I will guide you later on how we can add this one. So let's start with the first part. So here, First step, as I mentioned, we need to write our story. My story here, actually, it's about uh, how we let the audience or the end user know about Power Platform tools as a beginner. So 
how they can uh, see the difference between each tool that we have it. So the purpose of digital escape room that we have it here, it's to, to share the awareness about what's the different tools that we can use it by using our platform. Okay, first, like, uh, I need to get their attention. So to get any person attention, you, uh, you need to make sure that you are talking to them, even if it's just a text. So what I mentioned here, like, this is my story. I'm in my office. So I mentioned to the person that was playing the game that thank you to find me and I'm as stuck in this place. I, I need you to go out from this place. So the door is locked. Now the, the, the end user will get their attention. They will click here, tap to start. It means there is another, another part of my story. So when they click tap to start, another part of my story here, I'm explaining or introducing who I am within this digital escape room. Maybe it's in your scenario, we'll use another one. Maybe you can make it as a business scenario. Okay, so here what I'm mentioning to the user, like I'm, uh, I forget to introduce myself. My name is Agent 008 and I'm in my office and actually I was working on organizing my stuff and everybody is done. So third part of my story, I need to explain to them what they need to do to, uh, to, to lock the door to unlock the door. So how how I can explain to them in easiest way. So here I mentioned to them how they, they will be able to play or the main concept of my game. So here what I'm mentioning, in order to escape this room, you need to help me to automate my task. As I mentioned, my story, it's based on the awareness to, to see the people, uh, to see the difference between our platform that we have it. So here what I'm mentioning to them, like, you need to automate my task as much as we can by assigning the correct tool that we have it from Power Platform. And we have four clues the, uh, on this digital escape room. So maybe you can mention it. If you don't want to mention it, it's up to you at the end how you want to, to give the hint to the user. So when they click tap to continue here, this is the main thing of our digital escape room. Here I'm adding like uh, five pages on my app because it's only one room and it's really short. That's why I feel free to add uh, a text and label. Maybe in your scenario, you just need the main concept and you can put a timer and move the labels there. So here, here we go. For example, uh, if you look at the mouse, actually, if the user is smart enough, they will see like if they click here, the mouse will change. It means there is something here. Otherwise, maybe we can uh, add a, a, like a hint for each uh, clues that we have it here. So for example, if I click here, a pop-up message will show me like, I need to analyze all my stored data into one dashboard. Which tool should I use here? So the user is supposed to go here and answer the question by typing the name of the tool. Here it's Power BI. The magic actually will happen here. So if they click here, they will be able to see if the correct answer or wrong. Okay, so if it's correct, by default it's correct, and we can close it from here, and we will be able to see this icon. It means they already solved the first one. Second one, if I look to this one as we have four, let me solve it and I will show you how we did it. Second one, which tool I can use to build an app that helped me to add all my requests from the clients here. So for sure it's Power Apps. Let me type it like uh, in a wrong way. Let's see what will happen. So I didn't put any space because the new name of Power Apps there is a space, so wrong answer. So there is a way to see to 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 let the user know if there is a wrong answer or it's a correct answer. So let me put a space here and click here. It's correct. Okay. So I have two more because I know the game, so I know where is the clues. Actually, we have it here. So if I click here, build time saving workflow. So here it's supposed to be power automate. And one more thing here I need to mention. Uh, actually here you can add a timer. So most of the digital or most of the actual escape room, they have a timer like for 60 minutes. So here if you want like here because we have four tools and it's easy, so I don't need the timer. Maybe in your scenario you want to build or you want to build a, a big room with a lot of the clues, a lot of uh, scenarios, so you can add a timer to make it more attractive actually. Last one, which is here, create and manage powerful chat group that will help to resolve the common issue. So for sure it's power virtual agents. Correct. And now I get another pop-up message with this image that 
we escaped the room and we are okay. So congratulations. So with this one, um, this is our digital escape room. It's really easy to use. Now I will show you how I did it. Actually, it took for me like less than uh, 30 minutes to build this one. It's really easy because my scenario here, it's really simple. So I don't have a lot of tools. I don't have a lot of scenarios. So let me show you how I built it. I, I would like to ask you one question. Do you think that I'm using any data source here, like a SharePoint or any Excel or anything? So if you are thinking that I'm using any specific uh, um, data source, just type it on the chat. I will look at it. I will give you a few seconds to see. And if you are answering correct what kind of data source that I'm using here, I will give you a gift, which is Agent 008 shirt. So just type what kind of data source that I'm using here before I explain what uh, what kind of things that I'm using within this digital Instagram. Uh, okay. None. Okay. So we have two. So the winner is because he is the first person who answered the question. Is what we have now? Who is the first person who answered collection? Let me just save his name. Jube, I think I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing your name correctly. So just contact me. I will send you the gift. OK, so the data source or the type of thing that I'm using here to collect my data, it's collection. So let us see how we build this up. So first, let me reset the game so I will be able to explain to you everything. Here we go. So as I mentioned here, let me make it bigger so I can explain it to you. So as we see here, actually, uh, the main digital escape room is it's with one page actually, right? And the user when they click on any 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 task or anything, the mouse will change. It means I'm using a button. So if you look at here, the user they will not be able to see anything from me like Power BI, lock number two, lock number three. So what I'm using actually, I'm using a button, I'm using a label, I'm using also a, a pop-up message to collect the answer and save it on a collection. So let's see the first part. For example, here I have this one, right, which is uh, the main part of my game that they need to go there and solve it. I put a label with the answer here. The answer is power up. So it's just a label here just with the answer. And while they are playing the game, it's disabled. They will not be able to see it. I'm using this label to, to make sure that uh, while we are checking the answer that we are looking to the correct answer. OK. So the main uh, things actually within this button, once they click on it, we are building a, a context variable. And once we click on it, actually here, the pop-up message, it will appear. And here, the pop-up message, it's uh, lock number one. Let me just try to click on it to see it. OK, cool. So here we have this one. It's easy to build. Just I put like a rectangle and uh, the frame. Uh, this frame I built it by using a PowerPoint, so it's really easy to use. And um, I can arrange another session about the user interface. And here, as we have a few questions, it's not that much. So what I did basically, I just put a label for each question and within the, the bubble message and everything. So for example, here I have the first question, second question, maybe in your room, if you have uh, a lot of a question, I really suggest for you to use not collection, like you can use um, SharePoint. It depends on your scenario. That's why I'm, I'm using here a collection. It's much easier. And here I put uh, text input, which is the user, they will be able to enter their answer. And when, once they enter their answer, they need to click on this icon. And Actually, here I have a specific code. Let me show it to you. So here, when they enter their answer, I'm checking the label that I have it here, which is this one, Power Apps. That's why I'm putting a label for each, uh, each part or each log that I have it. So what I'm doing here, I'm checking the answer. If it's matching the same label that I have it, it means go and collect the answer and save it on my collection. I call it here like lock number one. For each question, I call it with a specific name. If not, do not save it because I don't need it. And then update another variable here. The, the second variable actually it's for 
the 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 label or the text that we have it, if it's correct or wrong. So let me try here. And the same concept I'm following for all the logs that I have it here. So here it's Power Apps. Here we go. So when the user is clicking here, two action, three actions will happen. First, I'm checking the answer if it's correct and matching the label that I added here. It will be saved on my collection. Second, um, uh, second actually, uh, second action, it's, it will be saved on my collection. Third action here, it will show me this one. If it's correct or wrong. If it's correct, the pop-up message will show me, which is here. I uh, I call it like uh, you can call it whatever you want. Then, and let us check now the the collection that we have it here. Here we go. For lock number two, there is nothing. There is nothing because I didn't store anything. And if I save it wrongly, it will not be stored there. The same. I'm following the same concept for all the locks. So. As simple as, and here we go. When they solve it, there is uh, to make sure the user they know they already solved it correctly, not by adding correct answer. To make it fun, you can add like the unlock icon or something. So here we go. Here, this one. There is a. a I'm adding a function here for the under visible and make this one visible if the lock collection number one is not empty. It means there is a correct answer within this uh, within this collection. So make it visible. That's why I'm only collect the, uh, the correct answer, not the wrong answer. So then when they solve all this answer, actually I'm adding another pop-up message, which is the same one that I show it to you. And let me solve it correctly to show you, which is this one, the last one that we, they escaped the room. I'll show it to you now. Actually here, what you can do, you can add a hint uh, for the end user. Like if you want to make sure like you need to write uh, it's uh, five letters or two words or whatever, you can make it easier to the user. It depends who will uh, who, who is the end user for your game. So now I will show you the last part of our game. OK, here we go. And this one it's power automate. OK. Why I'm collecting only the correct answer? Because for this image, actually, it will not show only if the user solved all the looks that we have it on our game. It means here another one or another uh, function within the visible here. I call it I'm checking all my collection here. I have four collections because for each uh, look I have I, I build a specific collection which is contain the correct answer. I'm checking here if the lock number one, two, three, four is not empty. It means they have the correct answer. Show me this power message and this is my escape room as simple as and it's really easy. As I mentioned, if you want to build bigger than this one, um, you can like put your questions with your answer within SharePoint uh, and based on this one, you can do the same concept by by do a, a lookup on your question that you have it in your data source. So um, what else? Uh, I think I covered most of the thing that the main concept of the game. And if you have any question, just let me know and let me check. So thank you. I hope you, you like it and uh, you can use it. I, I will upload the, the game on uh, the Power Platform site so you will be able to install it and play around with it. So thank you so much. Fantastic, May. That's so awesome. Such pretty graphics you have too. Uh, my son gives you the two thumbs up and said it's really cool oh, art as well. <laughs> he enjoyed watching with me today. That is really neat. Um, I, there are more than one question for you in chat, but I think mm -hmm. the one question that popped out, we were all wondering, how did you get the cool emoji in your app name? Mm -hmm. So actually for this one, I'm using a lot of tools and I can arrange a specific session, I promise. So uh, how I build all my avatars. I share on my Twitter about my avatar that I'm adding on all my accounts. I can reshare it again. But for uh, this uh, digital escape room, I'm using another tool. I can share it also with you. I will put all the link here on my Twitter account. Sounds great. Thank you. Mm -hmm.